Hi everyone, it's Leo, your professional organizer, giving you hacks, inspiration, and reviews to help you get and stay organized in your home and on your vacation. I'll leave the links to all my social media handles down below because I give you a little something different on each of the platforms. If you like what I'm sharing here on YouTube, go ahead and click that subscribe button and thank you to all my returning subscribers. Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing? Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the base convertible mini weekender and I'm also mid trip so we're going to talk about what I packed how I packed how I say organize on my vacation what my travel outfit is all that good stuff first let's get into the bag this is the top part of the bag and then this is the convertible portion of the bag so you can either travel with the bag like this or I really like to pack this like a packing cube and put it inside of the bag. So with one of these convertible weekenders, you're getting two in one for like the size of the bag. So whether it's the mini weekender or the full size weekender, I like to see them as two bags. So that extra price for the convertible portion, I think is well worth it. Whether you're packing with a convertible or a non-convertible option of these bags. I like to use the bottom as a packing cube because then like, it's like getting the bag and the packing cube also. So in my mind, when you're getting one of these convertible bags, you're getting two size bags and you're getting some sort of like packing cube within it. So the mini version is more likely your personal size versus like the full size is more like a carry on size, but like, not necessarily each airline's different. You're going to want to check the different dimensions of each of the airlines. And when you have this convertible portion inside of the bag, I would say it's like always a personal item. And so when this is inside of the bag, it becomes smaller than the convertible sport duffel, smaller than the backpack. And it's the smallest of the personal size items. But when you have it on the bottom, then it becomes larger than both of those bags. And it becomes the largest personal size item, which 100% fits on Delta, but some of the other airlines might be a little bit riskier to take the bottom on, but I think it's worked for me on United before, but each of those planes are different. I think other people have also said that it's worked on other airlines, but again, just like double check because with the bottom on, it might be pushing it as a personal item. But if you are packing like with me, I'm usually putting it inside. And so it's for me, usually a personal item. I don't know if that was like too confusing, but essentially I would most likely classify this as a personal item. And if you need a step up or a size larger, go for that full size and it'll be more of a carry on. But we're talking about the personal and the mini today, right? So let's get into the bag. The bottom portion, it's just like a cube and it has a mesh covering that zips. And so it's nice and compact. And when I am on vacation, I like to take this out of the bag and put it like in a drawer or on a shelf or something like that, unzip it so I can have access to all of my clothes. And I like to fold it back in after I'm not wearing it. Then inside, when you open it, it has this frame. And so it really looks messy in there, but I promise it's not. So it has this frame so that it opens up really nicely and you can always have access to it. Like there's no kind of falling. It stays open and you can put your hands in and out of it without risk of it collapsing. That's the word. So then inside, with the convertible options of these Weekenders by Base, they have this insert that comes in and out for the laptop sleeve. And so I just take that out because I find that it takes up space and I'm typically not walking around with a laptop anymore on vacation because I don't have a nine to five, like full-time day job anymore, but know that that's an option. So there's extra padding when it comes to your laptop with that laptop sleeve that you can take out that I have taken out. So if you want some protection for your laptop and you travel around with your laptop often, there's definitely a spot for it and protection for it with this bag. Then on the other side, there's a zip pocket and I just have a mask in there and a piece of paper if I wanna like doodle or write down notes. And then in front of that zip pocket, we have these two other pockets and I don't really use those two pockets to be honest but like the bigger pockets on either side I will use sometimes sometimes I like to put my intimates in there but like if I need some papers or 
a mask like I have, I can just put it in there too. And then we have this bigger portion in here. And I'll show you how I pack all of that in a minute, but this is where I put the cube in. And I have in a shoe bag, I have an extra hair tie, which I traveled with both of these hair ties in my hair with my hair up so that I knew that I wasn't going to forget any hair ties when I was traveling. Then I have socks in here and I have bathing suits in here too. I have three bathing suits. And then I just tighten that up. Also, when I had this packed, I had all of my makeup and toiletries in a bag. If you want a cosmetic case, if you prefer that, like that's totally fine. I just find that when I'm packing in something like this, I can adjust it into whatever kind of puzzle piece I need it to be. And then in shoe bags, I have a pair of sandals, but they're in the garage right now. And I have a pair of heels here. And then I'm traveling with sneakers. So those are also in the garage. And the last piece that I have in the big pocket is a purse that is neutral and goes with my color scheme. It has a strap here. If I want to wear it like a clutch, I can wear it like a crossbody or a shoulder bag. And this is the front portion of the two-in-one backpack that I think is out of circulation, but still obsessed with the concept. So it's really like flat and easy for me to travel with. And I usually take that around. So we can like pack this back up together. Let's see. So I had the two shoes here and then I had my makeup and toiletries, bathing suit and socks. And then the cube. You just have to be careful with this pocket when it comes to that. So then on top of that, I had the tripod that you guys are on right now and my one hair tool. And I take the handle and I put it down into like this little slot here. There's like a little spacing in between the bag and the bathing suits and then I had a bridal shower on day one of travel so I was able to take home the gift. I took one that went with my color scheme of my clothes so that if I needed like a pashmina when I was a little chilly it would go along well with my clothes. So then we can just zip this up and when it comes to packing this bag, even though when it's open, it looks like a square, just keep in mind that it becomes triangular at the top. So there comes a point where you wanna build up only in the center, which is why we place the hair tool in the center and then the gift in the center as well. Okay, and we'll undo this and like look at the actual clothes too in a minute. In the front of the bag, we have a pocket and I like to keep in here hand sanitizer and earbuds for the plane. I also get motion sick all the time. So I have like two kinds of motion sick medicine and I have like a drowsy and a non-drowsy and I also have my C-bands and then I have a pen and a barf bag, always. I'll get that back in here because I keep that all packed as I travel. And the one thing in here that I don't keep packed when I'm on my vacation because I'm using it at all times. I mean, hopefully not at all times, but you know what I'm saying. Like when I'm on my vacation is my charger. So that also fits in here. Okay, on the back side, there's another pocket and it opens up, it like unzips so that you can put it on your trolley for your roller if you have one, but also it zips up so that it's another pocket and I love it because this is the side that like faces your body. So I like to make sure I always have something to eat just in case I get randomly hungry or stranded. And then I also put my phones here. So 
so it's right next to me for the pant pocket also with the strap so i don't have the second strap with me because when i lifted it up before i went on my trip i was like it's really not that heavy i can totally handle it on my shoulder so i just put these two straps on my shoulder but there is these hooks here for cross body so if it were to be a heavier pack and if i had like a bunch of like ferries and going from like town to town to town even though i've so far been to six airports but um you know what i'm saying like if it were like longer and like more international or a heavier bag i would take the cross body strap and i would also use that so i would put this on my right shoulder and then i would put the cross body over to like lay on my left shoulder because it would distribute the weight a little bit better that way and that's why i like backpack so much is because the distribution of the weights on both of your shoulders and you kind of don't have to worry about it i also like the placement of it in your back because it's a better distribution of weight but if you're using this shoulder straps and the cross body it's still a good distribution of weight i just didn't feel like i needed it for this trip specifically but normally i would have it for like a weekender another thing i didn't mention is that there's a key fob and i think all the base bags have the key fob but i really like that because i can just bring the only key that I need to get into my apartment and like that's it and then just have it here have it not really take up space and once I get home I know exactly where it is I don't have to fish through anything to get to the key because this is something that you don't think about while you're on vacation but it's like so important when you get home okay so the cube I keep outside of my bag all the time when I'm on vacation unless I'm somewhere where like I feel like I'm taking up so much space and then I also typically will keep my makeup and toiletries in the bathroom unless again like I feel like I can't really take up that space then I'll like pack it all back up well I always keep it packed up in here but I put it back in my bag if I feel like I want to take up less space with my things and then also my phone charger stays out so we'll bring these things back out and then this is how my bag will stay for the bag portion and then this is how the cube portion of the bag will stay and I've just had it on this dresser behind us okay so what I brought here is all things that like i've needed but i will be keeping a few things at my parents house just to make traveling easier that's where i am by the way my parents house when i come here i feel like i'm not just coming here so for example this trip i went to florida then i went to dc and now i'm here and maybe i'll go back to florida for florida the first thing i had was a bridal shower so i brought this maxi skirt and the way that I actually worked into this outfit was it was a pool party and the bride did say it was okay to wear white, but my first thought was this bathing suit here. It's a one piece and like ruffly and cute. And I was like, okay, definitely want to wear like a super cute bathing suit. So I picked that out and then I was like, it kind of looks like a shirt. How can I make that an outfit that's like bridal shower appropriate, but also pool party appropriate. And so it was like, I... I'm gonna put a maxi skirt on it and this was the only plain maxi skirt i have to be honest so she okayed the white and like that was that and then because it's a bulky item i was like okay well i'm not gonna bring another bulky item for thanksgiving because we're back here with that thanksgiving trip so i thought how can i change out the bathing suit but use that skirt again for like this nicer occasion like the second nicer occasion but make it look like a totally different outfit so i brought this orange tank for that then i was like okay i'm gonna be in florida with my friends i'm going to in south florida i'm going to be in dc with my nieces totally different temperature and also like hanging out with kids and going to their schedule rather than like just having fun with my friends and then going to my parents which is more of the climate of florida but like more relaxed so i wanted a mix of workout clothes of proper clothes and then we've already talked about these two nicer occasions and we've already like checked that off of our list of like what the clothes look like there and i needed like kind of a mix of temperatures so i have a dress that's just like a cotton dress. 
Also, I might be going back to Florida to go to Dolphins game. So I wanted the color scheme to lend itself to be able to go to that game. It was just all falling into place anyway, so I didn't only look at the color scheme because of that, but it ended up being like more like orange and blue, but blue I just really liked too. But a cotton dress so I could go to the game and it could also be like a cute like going out outfit. We've already talked about this tank top. These are all workout clothes and then I'm wearing a set. So I have three workout outfits, a pair of jean shorts, which I could wear it with this shirt. I have another workout top and then I have this tank top, this tank top, this tank top that I could wear these shorts with. I could also rewear this skirt for something that's not as like scheduled as the bridal shower or Thanksgiving, but if I wanted to with any of these tank tops again, then I have a long sleeve shirt and I have a pair of jeans. The jeans I can wear with any of these tops, the long sleeve shirt I can wear with, well, the jeans or the shorts, and then I have a pair of pajamas. So what's gonna be left here is gonna be this pair of pajamas and this long sleeve shirt and in the bathing suit so i have three bathing suits i'm gonna leave one bathing suit here because randomly two of my friends didn't want it and i love this bathing suit so i figured it would be so easy to keep one at my parents house and one at my house because my sister and i came here once and we totally forgot our bathing suits and so that will just never happen to me again um we like didn't realize that our parents wanted to go to the pool but yeah so that's the pack it'll be even looser when i leave here because i'll be leaving a few things here this is actually my drawer and then also you can see that there's space here for the outfit that i'm wearing i would zip that back up but i don't want to because i'm not going to be putting it back in here i'm going to be just placing it on the dresser oh and then let me also talk to you about my travel outfit because i have even more layers there this goes back in the bag. These are the things that stay out. And then travel outfit. We went layers. So when I left New York, it was cold. It was before it got like really cold. I mean, it snowed in upstate New York, but it didn't snow in Manhattan. And now it's in like the 50s, I think. Maybe pushing 60, I'm not sure, but I layered the outfit because I knew that I was also going to DC. I was gonna want to use my layers when I went to DC. Even here, I can use some of these layers like on top of these workout outfits or with jean shorts, but here are the layers. So a tank top and I really like wearing a bodysuit because when I'm on the plane, I like to have my whole stomach covered because if a little bit's not then I get like a little cold and so it doesn't really annoy me when it comes to like going to the bathroom. I'd rather have that comfort while I'm sitting in the seat. So a tank top layer, then a long sleeve layer, then a sweater layer, like a hoodie, and then a jean jacket layer. So all of these things on top of each other will keep me warm, but then also I can wear them separately when I'm in a warmer climate, but still want a little something, like it's getting a little chilly. And then I wore this pair of pants from a day, which are so amazing because they're super comfortable and they're like loose fitting. They don't get that like, um, you know when you're like sitting down for too long and you start to see like the indentation of your knee on your pant? That didn't happen here. And they look really like nice and buttoned up. So it's like wearing a sweatpant or a pajama, but it doesn't look like it. And these are the, oh, what pants are these? They've been in a lot of packs, I feel like. Definitely the Arizona pack. <laughs> and we're here in Arizona now, which is just a coincidence. It's like the, does it say it here? I think they're like hang back pants. I don't know, I'll look for them and try to link them below. And then I also wore this hat just to keep me warmer when I was like leaving the cold climate for DC, it was good. And it'll probably be good on the way back too. And then the travel outfit is where I wear my bra so that I don't have to like worry about it. And it's just, the one for the trip because you know not every outfit might need it or I wear sports bras a lot with like my active wear but yeah so 
So that's the bag in the pack. Overall, the mini convertible weekender is one of my favorite personal items. I have three favorites, maybe even four, but the mini convertible weekender is definitely one of my favorites. It was the first bag that I ever got along my journey and I got this bag in 2019 and it is still working out really well for me and my favorite things about it are the fact that it is my smallest personal item and my largest personal item and that that separation in the bottom is a cube and I don't have to think twice about what cube I'm bringing because like I know that like this is what fits period so I love this bag and I think that it'll be a good choice if that's the one that you decide to go with. I also have a review up on the backpack and I will do a review for some of the other duffels that I've packed in to help you make your decision, but you really can't go wrong with this one in my opinion. I think the only reason I would say don't go for this bag is if you don't like supporting the weight on your shoulder, but I do think it's a pretty solid option if you are using that second strap that should alleviate some of this, but let me know down below if you have this bag, if you like this bag, what your thoughts on using this bag have been if you have any questions about the bag and that is the convertible mini weekender from base if you liked this video i appreciate you taking a second to hit the like button and leave a comment and i'll see you guys next time